Hello, I'm Kimon Francis. Two policemen have been charged with rape following the conclusion of an investigation into an incident involving a 16-year-old girl in 2013. The police say a date is being arranged for Sergeant Bruce Walker and Constable Rohan Mullins, who were assigned to the St. James Division at the time, to be brought to court. Ricardo Golden, the key suspect in an $8 million fraud case at the Hart NSTA Trust, was on Tuesday nabbed by the police while attempting to board a flight at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. The major organized crime and anti-corruption agency says the 36-year-old is the fifth person to be charged in connection with the investigation, which began in 2018. Information Minister Robert Morgan on Wednesday sought to downplay Jamaica's 20-place drop in the World Press Freedom Index citing a change in the ranking methodology. Jamaica slipped from 12th last year to 32 in 2023, according to the index published today by lobby group Reporters Without Borders to mark World Press Freedom Day. Overseas, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has denied his country carried out an alleged drone attack on the Kremlin, which Russia says was an attempt on President Vladimir Putin's life. Unverified footage circulating online shows smoke rising over the Kremlin, a large government complex in central Moscow, early on Wednesday. In sports, Jamaican middle-order batsman Rovman Powell has confirmed his departure from the Jamaica Talawas. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.72, the British pound sterling for $190.95, and the Canadian dollar for $115.10. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across southwestern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Kimoon Francis.